everybody, it's Angel from Halo Inspirations. We give you inspirations to help you spread beauty and joy through your quilting journey. Happy hump day to each of you. Oh, I love some hump day here at Halo. That's our favorite day. So we're wishing you a happy hump day and we're wishing you a happy Wednesday. So what are we doing today? Today I am going to be talking about the pack mat That's what we call our pressing mat. It is made of 100% alpaca fiber it's kind of like a wool mat but better all right so that's what we're going to be discussing today i've had a lot of people ask questions about it um it's an amazing product very very um it's easy to sell because it's wonderful it's absolutely wonderful so we're going to talk about that today so let's go ahead and dig in just a bit. Now I do have notes because I, I do tend to forget. And I will tell you the lighting is a little weird in here at this current time. The backdrop is super white. We did make it down to the studio, the sewing studio. We're getting that finished up. I'm actually in the process of moving. And I don't have much on the walls right now. <laughs> So the lighting kinds of gets crazy down here. So I apologize, but know that it is going to, you'll get to watch some of that transformation. I will have something back here. We won't be at this particular angle necessarily. So bear with me. I think it'll be okay. I do have a camera set up so you can see a little different and it is, um, it's a work in progress. So bear with us. Uh, ever since that electrical storm, we've just been trying to push this even faster so we can get this all set up to make it a better experience for you guys. Okay, so pack of mats. That's what we call them, pack of mats. Again, I do have notes because I don't want to forget. So our pack of mats are actually needle felted at Foxwire Farms in, um, or Foxwire Farm Alpacas located in Tawano, Virginia, which is where I'm actually from, which is about five miles outside Williamsburg, Virginia. There's a, an alpaca farm out there. They're a wonderful farm, wonderful individuals. And I'll put the link for that because, man, they got a storefront and you can find some really neat stuff at the uh, store of Foxwire Farm. So, um, but they are needle felted. So what does that mean? Well, we there's this great big machine and it's, I don't know, it's bigger than my arms. <laughs> it's longer than my arms. It sits on a table and it's got a thousand needles and they push like a, a fiber through. This is alpaca fiber. Um, they can do something as small as this or as big as a sheet of fiber that will look like this after it is uh, shaved off of the animals. Okay. And they only shave once a year. That's kind of the reason why alpaca fiber is a little more expensive, kind of like cashmere. Um, I learned recently that cashmere comes from goats. Y'all may have already known that. I did not. Um, but they are only done, I think once a year also. So the price goes up for fibers like that. Um, unlike other animals that they shave multiple times a year. So they put these types of strands or a sheet of something that looks similar to this after it's been cleaned and combed, they go ahead and they, they send it to the farm back to him after they clean it and everything else. And they send it through this really long machine. And when they're pushing it through, those thousands of needles are going up and down and they're felting the fiber together so that it can be stronger together to form a pad for you to actually press on okay so that's i'll have to do a video one time of the machine and how it works i think that'd be a lot of fun for um, people who are interested to see how that actually works um, but it, it is it's it's not a hard process but it is a time consuming process for sure so they are needle felted here in tuano virginia at the foxwire farms um with their, they actually do have their alpacas on site, but they send that fiber off to get it cleaned and combed. So at any rate, they are 100% alpaca fiber. Okay. Now they are a little bit more expensive. I'm not going to tell any stories. Uh, it's a very true story. Um, they are a little bit more expensive because they are coming a hundred percent, nothing else in it. Nothing. Okay. 
there's no cotton, there's no nothing. It's just 100% alpaca fiber. And we only uh, shave those animals once a year. So it's kind of a high commodity, right? So a little bit more expensive, but being 100% alpaca fiber, that means there's no dyes, no chemicals, um, and no fragrances, okay? <clears throat> they are designed to be an ironing mat so that you can get some really nice, um, crisp, flat quilting products, okay? That was the whole vision that came out of this is to create something that was even better than wool, okay? There are things about wool that some people don't like, and we're gonna get into that. And wool's a, the wool mats are great, but if you find certain things about wool that, don't, that you don't appreciate, this might be what you're looking for. Now they're good for not just quilting, okay? They're also good for embroidery or any kind of fabric craft that requires crisp seams or a real nice iron and be able to make it nice and flat and clean, okay? They are very lightweight, very lightweight. This is extremely light and very durable. So the idea is that you can transport them. So if you're going on retreat, if you're going to your girlfriend or your guy friend's house, wherever it is that you're going to go quilt, um, and you need to take your pressing mat, you're going to be able to do that because it's very lightweight and durable. Hence the name Packa Mat because you're packing it and you're taking it with you. Very easy to do. Um, it's alpaca fiber is actually 10 times better at insulating than wool. Okay. So understanding that the heat retention actually allows the seams to be crisper and more flat. So I'm going to change, uh, the camera for just a second. Now this alpaca mat, this packa mat, <laughs> um, is a little bigger than what we sell. We sell somewhere between 14 and 15 inches square at this time. That's the size that we have available. We actually have a few still left. We got another order to pick up, but right now there's a few out there still left at the shop, so you can check it out. But this one's a little larger, okay? So I don't want you to think that they're all this big because they're not. 14 to 15 inches is what we sell at this current time. We do have other sizes coming, um, but this is where we're, that's where we're at, 14 to 15 inches square. So I'm gonna pull you in for just a second because I wanna talk about how that heat works. Okay, so I'm gonna switch cameras here. All right, so <clears throat> this is the alpaca mat and I've done a little bit of cleanup, okay, just to make it, more visually appealing and the thing about it is they are very good insulators very very good insulator 10 times better than wool okay so when i'm going to go and press i have a couple of two and a half inch squares here that i have sewn together okay and i'm going to take my iron and i'm going to relax the seams just like normal now what i want to tell you well, first I'm going to relax the seam. I'm going to go ahead and open it. It's already super flat. Now I will say it's very hot. All right. When you are applying your iron, what's happening is you are putting the iron on top and the heat is going down onto the fabric. It's going to the pack -a mat And then because of the way that, that even wool will do this and, and, not as strong, but it does do this too, okay? So what happens is because they do, they are great uh, insulators of heat and they retain it, it's sending it back up. So not only are you getting the heat from the top, but it's coming back up and it's sending that heat back up from the bottom of the fabric, which makes this a really nice flat surface when you're done pressing. It's super flat. Now I'm not going to touch it because it is extremely hot. I have my iron. I always have my iron all the way up. So this is, and it retains heat pretty well. Okay. I got to talk about that too here in just a second. I reached underneath because I wanted to know just how hot it was. So I will tell you, so be, that retention allows those, those seams to be really crisp 
and flat, okay? It's set from the top and comes, rebounds from the bottom onto your fabric to give you a really nice flat seam, okay? All right, so I'm gonna switch again for just a little bit. Again, I'm reading notes because I don't want to forget something, guys. Um, now, it is a heat, it does, it is, it is a good insulator, okay? But it's not 100% foolproof. So if you have one of our pack -a mats it will, you will feel underneath, it's a little bit warm. It's not as hot as the top, but it is a little bit warm. So that's why I put one of the reasons I put mine on top of a pressing board. The pressing board has a really hard substance, so it really helps keep this nice and even and flat. Um, but I put it on top to protect anything underneath. You don't want to put a pack of mat or any alpaca fiber, 100% fiber type of ironing mat. You don't want to put it on, oh, you definitely don't want to put it on your cutting board. And you don't want to put it on, you know, something that heat may damage because it, it is not heat proof it just retains a lot of heat so it's not as hot as on top but it is still a little bit warm so you don't want to warp your cutting board you don't want to warp any kind of material underneath that is sensitive to heat okay um, i will also say that alpaca fiber is really good at whisking wicking away fiber, uh, moisture now it's interesting because with wool, it can like absorb, oh, it's something crazy. And I'm just going to throw a number out there. I don't know the actual number, so don't take this as a quote, but we'll say, we'll say, you know, five times more or three times, it'll absorb three times the amount of moisture. The thing about it is, is it holds it. Alpaca fiber will also wick away the moisture and it kind of disseminates out into the environment some of it okay it doesn't hold quite as much but because of the wicking away it is really strongly encouraged that you use a dry iron because it you will find it be a little bit wet if you use some steam okay it will dry quickly because of the way that the the um the core of the fibers are made and i'll talk about that in just a second but so it does dry quickly. You, and if you want to use water or steam, I wouldn't use steam. I wouldn't. What I would do is get a fine mist and you could spray just a little mist of water, okay? And if you feel like you need to do that, that would be the option that I would do. And you will find that it dries really quickly in between uses when you do that, okay? Because it does really wick away that um, moisture. Now, <clears throat> unlike sheep's wool, alpaca doesn't have the oils or the uh, lanolin inside. Some people are allergic to that oil, uh, so that's where some of the um, allergy comes from. Also, wool, um, along their fibers, they have things called uh, guard hairs and that gives you like that itchy feel. These are very smooth, very, very smooth. So because it doesn't have the guard hairs and it doesn't have any oils, the hollow of that, um, the hollow, the fiber of alpaca fiber is hollow. It, it doesn't have anything in it and it traps air inside that's why it's able to give you that extra heat and be a better insulator for heat um, but it'll also keep you cool because it does wick away the uh, moisture so wearing alpaca um, fiber type socks wool socks too some people wear wool socks in the winter because it's very good about wicking away but it's not a it's a solid um, core for their fiber inside their fibers is totally, well, it's not totally necessarily solid, but alpaca is hollow. So it's gonna wick away moisture a little better. It's going to be a better insulator for heat, but it's also gonna help keep you cool because it's gonna take that away when in the time this, that you need that. And it's all because of that hollow core. No oils, 
no guard hairs, hollow cores. Guess what else that means, guys? They're naturally hypoallergenic, okay? So if you are somebody that finds that, you know, you struggle with being uh, allergic to wool, this may be an absolute winner for you because they're nat naturally hypoallergenic, okay? The other thing they are is they're odor resistant. So they don't uh, take on some of the odors like, oh, let's just be real with yourself here. Let's say you are wearing a pair of socks <laughs> and you got a little sweaty. <laughs> Sometimes it, the smell's not so nice. And some people really complain about um, some of the different wools um, with pressing mats or with um, anything socks jackets coats when they get wet they tend to have a not so pleasant smell um, alpaca fibers are naturally odor resistant so you won't find that same thing when you're pressing you will not find any kind of real odor with um, the alpaca um, mats so that's another bonus if that's something that bothers you and it's naturally hypoallergenic it's also naturally flame retardant so being able to press down with your iron it's flame retardant not flame proof right it's retardant i'm sure if i lit a match or threw it in a fire i'm sure it would burn but it's naturally flame retardant so it's going to slow it down a little bit. So it makes a wonderful, wonderful ironing mat type of fiber. <clears throat> um, so putting even your iron onto the mat doesn't create that unpleasant smell that you may experience with some of the wool mats out there. Um, I'm going to make sure. I think that might be all that I have, but I just, you gotta think. Oh, and the last thing, and I think this is, it's very important when it comes to um, clothing and um, even, you know, hats or different things, um, but definitely clothing. It's actually stronger than wool too. The fibers are a lot stronger and um, tend to hold the test of time, okay? Now I wanna tell you specifically about our pack of mats they are a little bit thinner than some of the wool mats. They're about um, three eighths to a half an inch thick, um, somewhere in between. There's no real science to get it exact, but they are a little bit thinner than some of them. And the reason is, is because it's very expensive fiber and I'm trying to keep that cost down a little bit. So that's another reason why you may feel warmth underneath your pressing mat, your pack a mat, um, because they're just slightly thinner than some of those wool mats. Okay. That might change in time, but I'm trying to keep those costs. Well, my husband and I are trying to keep those costs down to you. So they're not super, super thick. They're not an inch thick by any stretch. Like I said, three eighths to half an inch thick. That's what they're running. So, and about four, somewhere, be, some of them are 14 inches and some of them are 15 inches. You just have to look at our website. There's a few left on there right now. We've got another shipment coming in, so I'll be sure to stock them up. And I think there might be some other sizes when we do that, but you'll just have to keep track on the website. But it is expensive fiber, so I'm trying to keep that cost down, but still be effective. Let me just pull you back in really quick because I never showed you this actual... Um, I don't know how well you can see it, you know, you got to let it sit. And sometimes people use these as design boards because they do kind of stick. And some people, if you feel like you need to, you can actually even put some pins in there. It isn't going to hurt a darn thing. You can hold it in there while you set it up or tilt it, um, against something. You know, if you have it on your pressing board and you kind of tilt it to see, you have a little small design board here for certain blocks. Very, very useful. Um, doesn't hurt a thing if you put the pins in there whatsoever. As far as care goes, um, they're not hard to care for. If you felt like you need to wash it, okay, if you got something on it and um, you wanted to get it a good clean, you just hand wash it with gentle soap and then, um, and, and um, 
I would use a, a warm, but not please don't use hot water. Uh, you definitely want to use, you know, like a lukewarm temperature kind of water. And then whenever you're done washing with your hands and you hand wash it with that gentle soap, you'll want to take some towels and you can put it on there to help get any extra moisture out. They're going to dry fairly quickly, just so you know. But if you want to do that, you can press some towels and get some of that extra moisture out. What I do, and then you just want to make sure that you uh, dry flat. What I do is I actually, well, not with this one. This one's really big. Um, but with my smaller one, I've used a cooling rack and it allows, you know, it to cool a little bit faster because it's not sitting on something. But you could simply just put it on a towel and allow somewhere on a flat surface and allow it to dry. Easy breezy. Now, as far as like everything sticks on here, so I'm going to flip this over, guys. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I do on occasion. And you have seen this pack -a mat on occasion uh, in some of my videos, and it'll have threads, hair, th you know, threads of, of, you know, little scrappy thread things and different things that'll show up. Basically, all I do is I take one of our felt, you know, one of your felt cleaners. Okay, you know, that you use for clothes. <laughs> and I just simply brush everything off and get it clean that way. If you have a little something that's sticking and you can't seem to figure out a way to get it out, because like this little piece right here, I tend to use, if it really bothers me, I'll use a... Um, pair of tweezers but that's all I do is I just go around and take a little felt brush give it a little clean cleans up nicely it really truly does it's not hard to take care of but I gotta tell you I can't live without my pack of mats I even have one that was like our first one that was like an experiment it's really thin and I still use it but not hard to clean up and like I said if you really felt like you had to wash it gentle soap lukewarm water let it you know you can wick away some of the moisture with a towel the extra moisture that might be there and then just let it air dry flat either on a towel on a flat surface or on a um, cooling rack and that's it guys I'm telling you it's even better than wool it insulates better it's odor resistant it is flame retardant wicks away moisture no oils no lanolin no guard hairs no itchiness this is really soft and um, awesome awesome product so that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. I wanted to come out and talk about the pack of mats a little bit just to give you an idea of when you see this. I'm probably going to buy myself a lighter color for videos because it does tend to distort the color uh, with the lighting and different things because it's this one's really dark. And I will say the black ones are like a really, really dark brown. Um, really, really dark brown. They're a little bit more expensive because the... Um, it's um, not as common. There are 22 colors, I believe, of alpacas, and uh, you can easily dye them if you are working with, um, you know, making coats or different, or scarves or hats or something. They're easily dyed, and they, they do really well with that, but uh, ours are not dyed or nothing, and right now we're just offering four colors. Uh, we have the rose gray. Uh, we call it fawn. It's beige. We have a, a darker brown and a black. And like I said, the black is a little bit more expensive because it's not as common. But 100% um, alpaca fiber is in these, nothing else. And I, I absolutely love this. And I know that a number of customers who have bought them really enjoy them. Um, and we've gotten wonderful feedback. So if you're interested, take a peek. And 
I hope that this was um, even educational for the idea between alpaca fiber and wool because like I said if you wanted to buy a wool coat some people find it really itchy some people are allergic to the oils that they naturally have and the oil is a great oil it's used in a lot of different ways for a lot of different reasons so um, it's not it's not that it's bad it's just that some people really um, struggle and are al allergic to the oil and they're also allergic well they feel itchy with the guard hairs so if that is something that is um, you're struggling with this is amazing and like I said it does retain heat and it's about 10 times better insulator than wool so you will find yourself getting some really nice crisp um, flat seams and of course if you got your clapper you can set that right on top can you imagine all that going on all at once I mean that that's my next step I want to try to I want to see how that works with a clapper and we're in the process of making our, um, some of our own so look forward to that but until next time guys and next week we are starting a new project we're going back to the project board I know that it was a project to make the uh, pressing boards and then I wanted to show you the pack mat that I do put on top of my pressing board um, to give better cleaner crisper flatter seams and uh, without the odor and without the itch and without the allergy uh, I wanted to show you this, but we're going back to another project next week. So I look forward to seeing you then. If you have any questions, I will be on live today on Facebook today at 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, same time as me here in Virginia. Feel free to come on over and we call it the live Q&A, live questions and answers. We'll be there today again, 3 p.m. for any live questions or quilting and answer session and uh if you have if you feel more comfortable dropping comments down below uh be sure to do so and we'll get back at you and uh also the link for our shop is down below i might even put the actual link for the pack mat so it'll take you straight there and that way you don't have to worry about anything else and there's a lot more information out there um, in, a, in the additional information and there's also a link on my website for foxwire farms where you can find Oh, heck y'all, you can find your own alpaca, <laughs> alpaca slippers if you so inclined, um, some insoles that'll take away some of that moisture on a hot day. It'll really help make your feet not so ugly, sweaty, um, odor resistant again. They also have dryer balls, they have clothing, they have coats, they have hats, they have yarn for knitting and crocheting if you're interested and have a desire for that. They do sell that also in their shop. They do have an online shop, so once you go to your, their website, you'll be able to find the link to go to their online shop. But that's it for today. I will definitely see you next week with a project, but guess what guys, until next time, until 3 p.m., or until next time, may y'all continue to be inspired, productive, and ever so joyful. Never stop believing and never stop making your dreams in quilting come true. I love y'all. Happy quilting. Happy hump day. See y'all next week.